All right, hey guys, uh, this is a little bit different of a video. I just got this box from FedEx. It is Andromeda's Edge, as you can tell, and um, I don't typically like to do unboxings of stuff just because there's like oh, there's a lot of stuff always coming in. Um, uh, you know, we do the Marvel stuff, but for other other board games, I just don't do unboxings. But I all edged, I all in this, and it's just, I've been very excited about it. So I did want to kind of share that with you guys. Um, so let's go and crack this thing open. So I'm gonna open this. Now, it's funny because Dwellings of Eldervale was sort of a grail game for me. Uh, whenever I took notice of the game, uh, it was very hard to find. Um, I, I think we were waiting on... I, I might have got it on the second reprint, but I, was, I surely didn't get it from the um, crowdfunding because it was before I got into the uh, games. And so when this came about, it was, it was a good opportunity to... Um, oh, okay, here we go. It was a good opportunity to, uh, um, you know, get into it here. So these are the neoprene uh, dice trays. Man, these look good. These are cool. I wasn't, I didn't, I guess when I saw the pictures, like I, I saw that I read that they were neoprene, but I didn't think too much about it. But yeah, those are nice. Nice neoprene mats. So yeah, basically I was very excited about it um, from a... Uh, uh, standpoint and all inning and I was like well I was gonna get a bunch of the stuff anyway so all in for all the stuff worked out and so we've got our wooden moon tokens here so we've got those we've got what's this I don't even know what these are um are these yeah I don't know if these are like Focus and go on tracks or something. But anyway, this has been a... Dwellings was a kind of a grail game for me. So whenever I had the opportunity for doing the all-in, I went for it. Um, and I'm very excited about this. I think the board's going to be humongous. So we're going to see how well it fits on camera. But these are the coasters. But uh, I, I, I am still planning on doing a um, playthrough of Dwellings. And here are the sleeves, which I'm thankful for because there are square sleeves for some of the square cards. Um, and then after we do the playthrough for Dwellings, we'll do a playthrough of Andromeda's Edge. Um, all right, all right. Let's get let's get the the main showcase here. Oh dear! What a beauty! a big oh box so we can get size comparison this with dwellings so with dwellings like I said I didn't get the I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, kickst I didn't kickstart it but I have all the upgrades and stuff and so size wise it's dwelling seems to be taller this will shrink down of course because there's all the stuff but dwellings that's like and I'm sorry not dwellings Andromeda's Edge is taller, but Dwellings is uh, longer. And then it's a little shorter height-wise. So, all right. Andromeda's Edge. Andromeda's Edge Deluxe Edition. Let's crack open the plastic here. Now, one of the things that I've uh, seen on the GameFound page is there have been some broken ships. So we're going to see if that happens to us. 40 minutes per player. And we've got uh, Unity being the, I know that's the solo mode. You can see uh, one, two, five player there. I think it's like normally one to four, and then like some expansion gives you a fifth player, but five tracks, Clash with Raiders, ships, cool miniatures, miniatures. So, all right, nice game trays. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Little organizer there. That's nice. How to store all the minis. How to store them in the box. And uh, Raider standees become miniature. Ooh, okay. Oh, those are cool. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got that here. We've got the rule book. We've got the appendix. We've got escalation. Uh... Escalation adds new dimensions to play in Andromeda's Edge using new ships to induce a player or play against a solo AI 
Okay, so that's the unity. You have unity. Uh, for solo, set up a two-player game. Unity, uh, when adding unity to a three, two or three-player game, set it up as if you're adding additional player. Excuse me, additional player. Um, so I think there is a um, adjustment of difficulty for the bot as well. Or maybe there's other boards or something. Okay, so we've got that. We've got, um, what are these? These must be uh, like, um, these are like uh, turn order sequence, like uh, what do you call them? Player aids. So that's nice. Uh, and this is for Unity. Okay, cool. All right, we've got that. Let's see, we've got here. Is this the Unity? Is this the board? This might be the board for Unity. If it if it looks anything, if it lo it looks sort of like oh yeah, Unity Command Fleet. This looks just because the boards kind of look like this for um, dwellings, where you have certain things and the dice will dictate what they do, and so they're their ships. So this looks nice. Okay. We've got, I think, our player boards here, which are very different than what we're used to with dwellings. Yeah, here are the player boards, so you can tell by the color. So with dwellings, obviously, you have uh, the different traits of the factions, and then, like, depending on your factions, the color you are, and there's the eight different colors with 16 factions. This, I think, there's a bit more modularity, and you're just a color. So we've got magenta, green, blue, yellow, and white for the fifth player. All right, so player boards. What's the back look like? I guess if whatever side you want to basically flip it, they, they're the same. Oh, that's kind of nice, however you're feeling it. All right. Ooh. Okay, this is just a bunch of tiles, which we'll go through. So I think, I think these are these, maybe? So punch boards here. So I'm not going to punch these, but we've got um, ship upgrades, and then we've got the tiles that'll go out, and I, I don't know what these are. We'll have to see if these are... Maybe these are this. Yeah, these are these. So these are all upgraded with those. Here are the moons that are upgraded. More tiles. Anything interesting here? More tiles. More tiles. So yeah, just, just our, our, our game tiles. And basically, from a delu deluxe upgrade standpoint, really the only things we're going to be using are the ship tiles, the board tiles, and... Because um, the moon and all these other ones are, are deluxe. So... There's our five punch boards there. All right, here's the real fun stuff we want to get into with the uh, miniatures. So here's ships. They've got a nice like wash over them. Take a look at some of these ships here. So you can see one of each player color. They've got a little small, like a minor wash on them so that I like them. We've got the ships. We'll have to figure out how to pack this all back up um, after we get the video done. We've got... Okay, let's see what these are here. So we've got... What are these? And how do I open them? I don't want to break it. Let's take a look at what these are. These, oh gosh, this is like insanity right here. Where is the component list? I don't know, but I wanna open this. But I don't know how to open it. Um, there we go. It's kind of tight. A couple of things walk. Oh, these are heavy. So we put like, um, we'd end up putting like some of our like pieces inside of these things. Whoops. Oh, that's cool. I'm not like the biggest miniatures person, but they are pretty cool to have. Okay. Set that aside. All right. 
Ah, player trays for the ships. Okay, so I don't know what goes here. These look to be uh, little standees for some of these. We've got... I don't know what that is, but that's awesome. Oh, that's super cool. This is some, like, octopus monster thing. That's awesome. Little friends here, little bee friends or something. Oh, these are so cool. So I think these are the raiders, right? Oh, look, it's got a mouth. It's a big ball. There was a piece, like I said earlier, that got broken. I don't know which one it was. Oh, that's sick. That is cool. I don't know what's going to go here, so I'll have to figure that out. But everything looks good so far. That's got a face. All right. We've got uh, player trays here for all the colors, which is nice. This is such a great thing about um, dwellings. Oh, and this just sits here, and then you have all your, your resources and things like that. So this is just one of the things I liked about dwellings a lot, that uh, you had all your resources within a tray, and you could just grab it and go. Uh, these are probably some more holders. We've got uh, trays for every color. Um, here are some cards. Some more player pieces here in every of the colors we've got oh here deluxe resource all oh, these are metal these are credits this is like the money oh that looks good oh that's awesome um we've got more resources there we've got some more punch boards some more resources here. Are these wooden or plastic or yeah, I think they're wooden. They're, but they're cool. They're like little silver things. Well, this comes out. Oh, buddy! There's more trays. This is for the. Uh, this must be for the square card. Okay. Game board. Okay. Before, oh, I'm just dropping stuff. So let me look at this game board. See how big this game board is. So right now we're on the widest, uh, like I'm on my biggest like wide setting on this. So if we have to do this on camera, it's either going to have to be sideways or we're going to have to raise the camera up. But that is the game board and it's all its glory. And let's see. Some weird uh, alien looking thing. We have uh, the factions here, and I think this these factions are some of the um, these factions are some of the uh, ones from the Kickstarter. Yeah, like the Flamecraft ones. This is from uh, what's it, what's his name? Tim Tim something. I don't want to mess up his last name, but he's a big fan of dwellings. And I don't know where this is from. Astro Rock. Anyway, so I think these will go on our boards like this. And that's kind of how we will play with our player boards. And then these are the other factions here. So there are a ton of these. I think they're like uh, 18 or something. We've got some more tokens here. Some more ships. So we got some more ships here. Tons of cards that I'm not going to go through. Square cards, these are our these are like our upgrades on our ships to go off to the side. So like in dwellings, our tableau, this is effectively what those are. Um oh, it's, a, it's a flame craft card. That's cool. I don't have flame craft anymore, but that's neat. Uh more little cards. Um oh these must go. These are like in dwellings where on the top where we like pull stuff. This must be like the resources that are gonna be for those sections. I know one of these mark a little something. I don't know what these are. And then these are the uh, one of these I know is the end game uh, trigger marker. It goes to like you can set it to either 60, 70, or 80 points, I think. I don't know what the other one is. Tons of dice. And I think these are probably the same as dwellings, maybe a little bit uh, bigger, but they look roughly the same size. 
Um, but they look good. Ah, oh, that blue one's so nice. So dice there. Uh, and then you've got these uh, beige ones, I think, are for like the Raiders. But then we've got these big ones, which I think are, you use these in place of the Raider dice, I think. I don't, I don't know for sure. But nice, big, chunky dice. Oh, these are awesome. Uh, more player markers to go up the tracks. Some green cubes for some reason. And we've got the scrapyard which and the um, event uh, deck. So like the scrapyard is like the the under like the underworld for dwellings where like your units would go and they would die and then you'd have to bring them back. And then this event deck actually pushes the game forward. So that's cool. Love it. I do love events. I'm a big fan of events. So anyway, that was a really big messy unboxing of uh, I almost called it uh, dwellings of of uh, Andromeda's Edge. I'm gonna get this whole thing sleeved up and put away in the appropriate slots. But yeah, I'm just super excited about this game. Uh, like I said, Dwellings is such a big, like, grail game of mine. And not that I've even played I mean, I've played it maybe like a dozen times. Um, I'm not very good at it. But I love, it is such a fresh, unique, mechanical uh, thing to me with the worker placement and how the tableau builds out. So I'm very excited to dive into this. So, um, yeah, you see a video of both Aeon's, Aeon's End, A <laughs> both Andromeda's Edge and Dwellings of Elder very soon. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.